These are the new Arena Cobra Edge goggles, the most expensive goggles on the market at £90 or $100, but also the ones that I wear every day and when it comes to races. Today I'm going to review them and let you know if you should be spending all your money on them and saving up or giving them a miss. Let's get into it. This review is a complicated one for me to get my head round because I love these goggles, but also can't believe we're doing a video where we talk about a goggle that comes in at $110. It is an extreme amount of money. And for someone like me, who is more than happy to wear a Rena Swedix model, which I can pick up for eight quid, I find it absurd that this is over 10 times the price. But it is a great goggle. They're comfortable, they're high performance. They literally say high performance on the box. They look super aesthetic and they are an evolution of my absolute favorite goggle ever made, the Arena Cobra Ultra. Before we go further in this video, I do just want to take the time to say that if you want to support this channel in any way, leave a like and make sure you subscribe, but also go on my website and check out my range of merch. I have t-shirts like the one I'm wearing here, although I'm 99% sure this is sold out, and I also have some awesome caps, such as the fastest swimming cap ever made, the Arena, 3D Aqua Force Wave Cap. This cap is unlike anything you've ever worn and you absolutely should check it out and try one yourself. The results are awesome. But today we're not talking about this cap. That will be a separate video. We're talking about these goggles. And Arena are doing so much great stuff in the market at the moment. Let's take this packaging for example. This packaging is proudly 100% plastic free. It is packaged from a responsible source and there's loads of more information when you push the tray out to not only reveal these beautiful goggles, but we can find more about all the stuff they're doing with recycled materials and being green and environmentally friendly. We need more companies and brands to take an interest in doing this and Arena right now are leading the way in this area. And if that means paying a little bit more money, I'm all for it. These are things I am factoring in when I do talk about the price of this goggle. The green theme is continued when we see their new tagline, hashtag planet water. Moving away from arena water instinct and rebranding as arena planet water, the environment, the world is something that they care about and it's shown in their awesome packaging. But are these goggles a must have if you like the Cobra Ultras. Well, it really depends. The number one complaint about Cobra Ultras is that people, not including me, that have longer eyelashes found the depth too shallow inside the goggle. Arena's only suggestion for them people was to get the Cobra Core, but that lacked the stabilizing bars, but did have more volume in the goggles to facilitate longer eyelashes. This is the first model they've released that has both the stabilizing bars on the side, but also the volume in the goggle for people with longer eyelashes. Even for me, who never had that complaint with the Cobra Ultra, I find these goggles more comfortable. They are so easy to adapt to. The first time I put them on and dived in, no problems. From the get-go, these goggles were purely awesome. They're comfortable, they look streamlined, they're low profile. Everything you want in a goggle, they have. They're solid on your head, namely because of the stability bar and they come in a range of awesome colors. This one, I actually had this exact colorway. Um, it was a Bishamon colorway that I had in the Cobra Ultra and I really like it again in the Cobra Edge. I also have a fruitier pink model and I've seen pictures of some other great ones. That being said, 90 pounds for a goggle is just too much. I remember when I thought it was expensive paying 25 quid for a pair of speed sockets back in 2010 and here we are and Arena have pushed up the pricing once again. I'm in America right now and I'm used to seeing dollars. And to think that these are three figures in price just blows my mind. The last goggle I reviewed was the Arena Japan Aquaforce Swift A, another brilliant goggle and a fifth of the price of these. Bottom line, when it comes to goggles, you wanna have performance, comfort and longevity and confidence they're gonna work. And while these tick and knock every one of them attributes out the park, so do so many cheaper goggles. I'm someone who loves wearing Swedish. I love wearing Arena Swedix, and Arena Swedix is my easiest goggle to recommend. 
and I even find the Cobra Ultras a little bit expensive for their price. But because they're such an older model, you can get non-swipe versions a little cheaper or even the swipe versions in some colorways at a discounted price. Because these are brand new and they only come in a swipe, just, I've not even mentioned it, but the swipe technology means basically they have a coating inside, an anti-fog coating that is reactivated when you swipe your thumb inside. This does make this goggle last a lot longer. So when we talk about longevity, they tick that box because as long as you look after them, the swipe technology will make sure they have anti-fog for days and days and months and months and years and years. Most goggles look great out of the box and by the third practice, you're already fogging up. These, you can practice them in them every day and wear them at meets and they still will be crystal clear. But there are other models in the arena range that have the swipe technology at a way cheaper price line. You also can get models like their standard Cobra that have a stabilizing bar, way cheaper, and other ones that are gonna perform at a high level, like the Cobra Ultra, Cobra Core, Cobra, um, Python even, and definitely the Swedix, which is low profile and streamlined goggles you can get, as I said, at under 10 pounds. So you can take my conclusion of this review as you will. This is my favorite goggle ever. This is the goggle that I'm gonna jump in for practice in 10 minutes in. This is the goggle that I'm gonna race at the British Masters National Championships in five weeks. I'm gonna wear this to every race, without a doubt. But I do think it's overpriced, I do think it's too expensive, and I do think the price stops it giving you any real value. I think you can get everything this goggle does well, not quite to 10 out of 10 attributes for a cheaper price. If you want the very best price no object, then here's your goggle. Don't get the Cobra Edge and don't look back. But if you want to save some money or buy multiple pairs for under 100 quid, then this is not going to be possible. You know, if you want to get a couple of pairs of these, one for training, one for racing, you're going to be set back 180 pounds. God, that's a lot of money. So that's my conclusion. Best goggle ever, but too expensive. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more product reviews, caps, goggles, and tech suits, make sure you subscribe, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.